So uh, today we lost Juice World. Definitely one of the saddest deaths in a long ass time. And personally, it really hurt me this morning finding out um, when I woke up. I kind of cried a little bit, not gonna lie. But I would not like this video just to be a memorial about Juice World, but also a lesson that people can really learn from. This video kind of will be ev over everywhere with topics because I have so much on my mind and so much that I want to talk about first off i do want to say thank you juice world what is going on there <laughs> where did you fucking find <laughs> it would be a lie if i said juice wasn't a big part of my life ever since my discovery of him back in may of last year i've listened to him almost every single day since then and for me the reason why his music has always been so iconic to me was because it came out in a certain time of my life where like that summer of 2018 where it was just so amazing and he was one of the three artists that i always listened to lil skies juice world and post malone and i never really stopped listening to and i just missed those days of i'd, I'd go on youtube put my playlist of music in and play fortnite all morning man and just it was just good memories i remember daquan back in season four of fortnite he got banned on twitch after playing one of juice world's songs on his stream right and after this i was so scared of his music coming on when i was streaming because i listened to him quite a bit and his music would always come up in my recommended and that's always how i listen to my music is just let youtube pick the recommended and man that is honestly like such a good time for me and one thing i'll definitely miss is having a hype hopeful feeling that one day juice world and lil skies would collaborate for a song which has always been something i really wanted and it really sucks that that'll never be a possibility now something that made him stand out at the time was how different his music was compared to everyone else you know there was just a few artists at that time that had really just unique good music that was so different from the the random bullcrap that's put out now the fast food songs you would say now the next thing that i want to talk about is taking care of yourself if you've been listening to juice world for any amount of time you'd know he does drugs and from the way he sings about them he he probably does a lot of them we definitely know that juice world does a lot of drugs we don't know the cause of the seizure which is why he died but it wouldn't be be too far-fetched to saying it is because of all the drugs that he did but whether his death his seizure was caused by drugs or not the way he was living wasn't really on the track of living a long life i know in a lot of his music he sings about not wanting to die young but it really doesn't make sense on how he doesn't want to die young but lived a life that was so bad for him and unhealthy that maybe was the cause of him dying so young and i really hope rappers or anybody who who also had a lifestyle that was similar of just like partying and drugs and everything could really learn from this because really you shouldn't be putting your life in a you shouldn't be doing something as a pastime and that also puts you in the position of taking away your life i mean is it really worth doing something if it can take your life away and then you can't can't do anything again we don't know if it was because of the drugs that killed juice world but you know what it definitely could have been a possibility later on in his life but i'd be safe definitely be taking care of your physical and mental health because i know in juice world songs that a mental health seemed like a really big thing of just letting things take control of him and like women and stuff which is something that i've seen or heard a lot in his music from the longest time that i've been listening to him and if you're doing things like drugs be careful with what you buy because no matter what drug it is it can be laced and you know like for instance heroin laced with fentanyl and the xanax that little pete bought that ended up killing him were late and just things like that you need to be careful if you nobody's stopping you from doing those things and it's not those things that can kill you but it's the overconsumption of doing things like that and not only that but the fact of buying it off of sellers that can lace those stuff that can 
potentially kill you. But one thing before I end this video off is I really respect Juice World for making a good name. From what I've known and heard of him, I've never heard anything bad about Juice World or any bad controversy like there was with X and stuff. You just never heard anything bad about Juice World. And I've been following him for like a year, over a year now, and I've just never heard anything bad about him. And that's not something you can say about most deceased artists. I love you, Juice World. Thank you for the amazing times, the good being a part of memories for me. I really love that. Thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. Um, be safe. And remember, not all legends have to die out. It's the way that they're living that are killing them off. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.